Hello, people of the internet. This is Snoppy, and we are back to Dynasty Warriors 3. All right, we're going to continue our playthrough of Soon Shang Zhang's Musou Mode and the Battle of Heifei. Uh, okay, I could have sworn there was a cutscene that was supposed to play there. But last time we did the Battle of Chibi, which could have gone better, but we made we made it. I I didn't die miraculously. Uh, no defense, yes, that's good. I hate archers. No bodyguards. So. Just to give everyone a view of the battle, I am supposed to keep this guy alive. Sun Quan right here, he's surprisingly close to the front. And you know, standard, for some reason this random dude is way back in main camp, and he's the one who's super safe. And to win we must defeat the dastardly Cal Cal, or Cao Cao technically. And some familiar names for those who know Dynasty Warriors, or at the very least watched the last video. Some less than familiar, if you didn't see the last video. So, for the historical context, we're not gonna do- long story short, the Wu forces defeated the Wei forces at Chibi, and now they're pressing their luck. Th that, that's the short version. They're attacking at Heifei, and what should technically be an easy victory, of course. Historically, uh, that is not- what it turned out to be. In fact, it was quite the opposite of a victory. Head for the Northwest Road. Okay, that's that's those are straightforward instructions. You know what? Let's let's not. We're we're going to go somewhere completely di different. I mean, actually, there's there's two ways I could really do this stage. I could just go around beating, uh, taking out the guys on the side for the fun of it, or I could just bum rush the center. Bum rushing the center is what I used to actually do, but I don't know. I think it makes the, the later stages a bit harder because you don't get any, you don't get as many stat boost drops. Of course, I could take out the center and then just go to the sides. I don't know. Maybe. uh... Ah, the stage is more fun when everything goes to hell, so we're gonna go to the sides first. Battle is beginning everywhere. The center is devolving into chaos immediately. But yeah, this stage... Actually, uh, if we go over the victory conditions really quick, one of the victory conditions is that Sun Quan enters the enemy HQ. When you, and when you are the commander, that victory condition doesn't exist, but I've only once been able to trigger that. Cause it, 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 I don't, it feels like in most games, it's a huge waiting game. And it's just difficult to, I mean, you don't really want to wait around for that. It's just kind of dull, but who knows? Maybe it'll go off this time. I, that is the hope, just for the sake of why not? Ah, yes, Salpy. We will take you out first if you stop moving. Stop, 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 stop. I missed. And those are those are crossbowmen. Ow! That is a lot of crossbowmen. Holy, holy crap! You go down. Oh wow, this is uh I was really bad habit of going too deep when I play this game. Get right in the dead center of everything. Which is fun until I start getting juggled. Like I'll just I you know, I'll get out of being hit, I'll land, and then that happens. Or, or that happens. But we we, we will We should be fine. I mean, I think I actually hit a bunch of the crossbowmen, so... There's still a lot of them, though. That is a lot of crossbowmen. I'm pretty sure none of them are mine. Oh no, there they all are. I've got you now, Taishi Sing! Oh, you know. Wait! Ah, he's hurt. You think? There's no need to Poor guy sleep. got hit by one I arrow in the so back. 
Oh no, there, there's a second arrow. I will avenge your death. For the Sukon, of all people, you're the one who's saying I you're gonna do that? An officer. Oh wait, no, we do have crossbowmen. Four of Oh wait, no, there's more over there. Okay, so not every arrow hurtling across the map is trying to kill me. Oh yes, the Wu Supreme Commander has begun his retreat, and Taishi C has been obliterated. That's kind of brutal, like, obliterated? I mean, he got hit by two arrows. That, I mean, he's dead, but I would hardly call that obliterated. And the battlefield starts going to all hell. We must be out of fight harder. Um. Oh no, I didn't run into Tenji. That's actually unfortunate. Defeat I would have gotten a drop for defeating her. Or something, weapon, item, Sub gym membership. I don't know something. I defeated an officer. Indeed. Just go away. Oh, that's actually a lot more soldiers than I thought there'd be. We can't hold them. Uh, the glorious, the uh, frame rate drops. We must not lag behind. You know, when you only have the tier two weapon, the the way they end the animation is really kind of anticlimactic. For her, at least. It's just kind of like this. And he's gonna... Oh, wait, no, he's not. So let's... No, you're not healing. Go away. I defeated an or if he's a cursed crossbowman. And one of them just got nailed. Apparently. Hey, hey, hey. You too. I said you too. Oh, wait. Is that a weapon? That is a weapon. I have... I almost left an, a weapon just lying there. Oh, as I went down, I got health back. Ah, uh, Lumung's down. He's, he's going down. Actually, no, in this stage, maybe. In this stage, for some reason, that bottom half of the map can stay in a state of constant defeat for like 10 minutes before actually going down. Come to think of it, almost any time I play this game, uh, Lu Meng is like the guy, is like the sacrificial lamb. He's the one who goes down. All right, let's just now show them the might of this army. Come on! Oh, just just plus one. And oh, whoa, no, he did not last that at all. No, our, uh, the, the rear half of our forces is just, it, they're done. Is there a force line? No, there's not. They, they spawned out. What is in here? What are you? You are nothing. That's disappointing. Alright. So we have, there's some, there's some issues. We're just gonna go to Sun Quan real quick. Ah yes, he has abandoned the central defenses. You know, considering the our, the bottom of the map's already defeated, we may as well just go to the center, because the enemies are going to reach there on their own anyway. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just, let's just, uh... If I come over to Sun Quan here... There you are. He comes up to this bridge. It's Is broken. The end? Jump. But now I mysteriously have a horse. And now I'm over here. Now, can we just talk about how there's a completely perf a perfectly non-damaged -da bridge just like a couple hundred feet to the east and no, the west? Like, was that- was that necessary? Like, I mean, I, I mean, I know it was- it was game- it was just how they had to do the game design, because the programming wasn't as good, but, like, I don't know, I feel like the level design could have just been better. 
Dice Warriors 8 did a wonderful job of how that bridge worked. Of course, in that game, they had the bridge coded to actually get destroyed. And it led to nowhere. Except for the escape route, when Sun Quan's trying to escape. But th th this game was back in the day when fleeing from the battle wasn't really an option. Which, alright. Oh, Jazu. You. Random sub officer. I defeated He's dressed in purple. Officer. I don't know, I feel like he should be dressed in blue or something. Purple seems like an odd color choice. I mean, it's close. But uh, who is the, the, the cr crossbows? What? What? Lo locking on. You're gonna see a lot of this from me. I'm gonna compul- I compulsively target the crossbowmen because fuck them. Sao Jang. My favorite part is the enemy AI can start blocking in the middle of your chains, but when you try to do it, it like rarely works. I don't know, maybe I'm just bad. Alright. Oh wait, there, there, there was someone down there? I defeated really? an officer. I, I, the, 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 the Juan? Was he like one of Sun Quan's? I, oh, I, I think he was one of Sun Quan's. Your morale is really high. No, he couldn't have been. Or maybe he could have. Those guys have high morale too. And just just for reference, uh, the guy uh, and the analog stick stuff. Just for reference, those the morale meter only means that when off screen, when you they are not close enough to be rendered. The person, the person with the higher morale is typically going to win. Of course, if they're heavily outnumbered or something, they can still lose, but if the morale difference is high enough, they'll just bowl for everyone else. Nope. Show me what you've got. I got these ch ch crams or whatever you call them pronounced. You got it. Oh! Oh, oh god. That could have been bad. Ah! Old PlayStation locking on. This game, when you hit an enemy, it locks you on in the direction it thinks the enemy is. Where is Sun Quan? Up. Who are you? It's Zeng Liao. Zeng Liao is here. That, that's just such an underwhelming response. He's bowling through your men. Who are you? All right, let's take out Shu Huang, and we have to go stop Zheng Liao. Liao. Well done, crush Wu for me. Because you can't be asked to do it yourself. Oh, and did, did Ding Feng was down there? Really? You fight impressively. Farewell. I All right, got rid of him. Officer. Of course, now the entire enemy army is coming from the south. I'm not sure exactly, uh, is there, is there an urn nearby that might have health? Please. Close. Ugh. Yeah, everyone's morale is dropping on our side, and... Yeah, we have... Hold on. We have one, two, three... We have five to their three. And yet the morale bar is perfectly even, which is never a good sign. There we go, health, okay. Shang Liao is a uh, one tough cookie. If I defeat if I had just chosen to bowl through the center, or even just defeat him, then go to the sides, not only would Tai Chi C probably not have died, but this whole thing right here, it just wouldn't have happened. Like he wouldn't have attacked the camp. I let things go to hell just because it's more fun that way, but realistically speak, if this was like a real real combat situation, that wasn't the dumbest thing I ever did. All right, Zhang Liao, come on. I challenge, I challenge you, but I don't challenge your crossbowmen. All right. 
Oh boy, it's gonna be one of those fights, isn't it? Actually, I have enough back, and that's my own fault. There were just less of these, yeah, uh, guards of his. Now is our chance. We will attack. Ooh, health. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That was a very convenient spawn. A lot of these guys are just carrying meat buns on them. Because I guess it makes sense. You get hungry for murdering people relentlessly. Ugh, one of my least favorite parts of these games. When your allies don't get off their horse and they actually make it really hard to fight. Like, there are times in this game where you'll have, like, three or four of your allies on horses. And they'll all be trying to attack the guy you are, but you can't get to him because you just keep getting pushed aside by these horses. Oh, we're done. We're dead. That was that. I don't even know what to say about that. There was literally no way I could have reacted to that. There was nothing, there was literally nothing I could have done about that. So, um, I guess that's the end of this episode. That was an unexpected turn of events. I'm, I'm still like, I'm still trying to catch up with what just, with what just happened on the screen. But, that aside, that this has been Snoppy, and next and join me next time where I try. Oop, did challenge mode. Where I try not to have that happen again. So goodbye, internet.